from developing nuclear weapons. Mr. President, the, uh, the world has been virtually turned upside down in the two and a half years since the Berlin Wall came down. Uh, a new dynamic is a word emerging, and also emerging uh, is a, a new Russia as a great superpower. Yet this Russia is having trouble getting its feet on the ground, so to speak, and, and turning its uh, directions into a capitalist economy, a free market economy. Uh, you have made recommendations not only in your book, but in your speeches and at your recent conference about what the United States should do to help Russia. And you've also pointed out what the consequences of not helping Russia will be. Would you share with us your thoughts? Well, Russia at the present time is at a crossroads. Uh, it is often said that the, the Cold War is over and that the uh, West has won it. That's only half true. Uh, because what has happened is that the communists have been defeated, uh, but the ideas of freedom now are on trial. If they don't work, there, there will be a reversion to not communism, which has failed, but what I call a new despotism, which would pose a mortal danger uh, to the rest of the world, because it would have be infected with the virus of Russian imperialism, which of course has been a characteristic of Russian foreign policy for centuries. We begin with that. Therefore, the West has, the United States has, all those who want peace and freedom in the world, a great stake in freedom succeeding in Russia. If it succeeds, it will be an example for others to follow. It will be an example for China, for example, to follow, uh, for the other communist states, the few that remain. If it fails, it means that the hardliners in China will get a new life. They will say, it failed there. There's no reason for us to turn to democracy. That's part of what is at stake here. Uh, the other point that we have to have in mind is that it's vitally important that it succeed because it means that Russia, which for 70 years has been exporting or trying to export the ideas of communism to the world, will now be exporting the ideas of freedom, the ideas of democracy, the goods of freedom. It means that Russia, for example, will be able to export goods. That'll be a huge export market, for example, for the United States and other countries. So I would simply sum it up to say for our Korean audience, it means a great deal to Korea too. Because Russia, the Soviet Union, I should say, was a very strong supporter of North Vietnam. Russia will not be a supporter of North Vietnam. And that means that we have here a potential ally joining with the United States and other, country, other free countries in putting pressure on North Korea not to go forward with a nuclear option. Gorbachev, 